Welcome to the Open Spaces Maven screencast for Gigaspaces Zap. Maven is one of the two most popular build tools for Java along with Ant. Maven is arguably a better project tool because it enforces standards and offers convenient project lifecycle phases as well as built-in dependency management. You can do everything Maven does without Maven, but you know the wind right now blows Maven's direction. Maven works by creating a local repository of resources which it can download for you. You can install your own resources into, the, into your local repository and you often will if the standard repositories don't have what you need in them. Gigaspaces has its own resources for Maven but they need to be built locally on your machine because of the license that built, that's built for you when you download Zap. On Windows we change the Tools Maven directory and then run install maven repo.bat. You can see that I'm used to Unix here. And this will go off and it'll you know run a whole bunch of different things. It'll actually build everything locally and run. Uh, while this is building, you've probably heard me refer to Gigaspaces and Open Spaces. Um, they're not interchangeable. Open Spaces is the spring integration part of Gigaspaces and it makes a lot of things very easy. However, it's important to realize that you don't have an actual hard dependency on Spring, not from open spaces anyway. So now we've got uh, the Maven stuff installed. So let's go ahead and create a project and see what we get from there. To create an open spaces project, you use the Maven OS create project, uh, target. So this is actually uh, if you just put in the Maven OS Create, it will actually show you the default uh, templates. You'll see here you've got basic, basic async persistency, basic XML, basic async persistency XML, and mule. Um, and so what these are, uh, basic is just a, a simple space-based application alone. Um, basic async persistency, which is what we'll be using and what you'll most often find, is a space-based application that mirrors its data to a database, and it actually comes with a mirror, uh, a mirror project and everything like that. The XML versions of these are primarily for Java 1.4 and earlier, and let's be real, you shouldn't be using that. Java 5 is already end of life. Um, Java 6, you know, we're mostly waiting for Java 7, and that'll probably be end of life. You know, Java 6 will be end of life soon enough anyway. So really, if you're using pre, you know, 5, you probably should stop unless you have real business reasons not to. So the basic XML and basic async persistency XML versions shouldn't come in. And Mule is primarily for uh, you know, Mule-based uh, enterprise service buses. So once we have the, uh, so the way we use this is we use the Maven OS create uh, lifecycle with the template ID. So what we do is we use basic async persistency and then we're going to give it a group ID of com.gigaspaces because we are in fact gigaspaces here and then we're going to give it an artifact ID of my project and this is not going to take very long at all it's going to go through and, and you know really we're done so we take a look we've got my project and what we have in here is we have our four types of, of modules we have common which is our data model Feeder, which creates elements in the data model and puts them into the space. Mirror, which takes the data uh, objects as they're updated in the space and writes them to the database. And Processor, which basically just takes the data and massages it somehow. So now we've got it built. The way that we actually run the project or, or build it in, internally is we just use Maven Package. This is all Maven standard stuff. Maven Package will go out and uh, download everything it needs to have. Uh, this actually may take a few minutes because, you know, it's Maven itself, but it will actually go ahead and, and run all four and package them for, um, for deployment into Gigaspaces. Uh, in just a second, what you'll see is it will actually run the processor. Uh, right now, it's actually cranking up a space locally and testing the feed process and building deployable objects. So we actually have a full running uh, test just from Maven OS Create. It's very simple. Now the last thing we'd like to do is actually deploy the, the uh, project into a space with Maven. The way that we do that is with the Maven deploy command, the OS deploy command. We see here we can just run it. This will make sure the project is built. Then it will uh, look for a, a running GSM and then deploy into it. It's really quite simple and there's not really much to it. And it's actually you know, pretty fast, all things considered. 
uh, remember the deployment phase it actually has to go through and confirm that everything that all the resources are there in order to run so it does take a little bit to go but you can see here it's actually going ahead and running the deployment nothing really special here and there it goes so now we have a full running uh, application. Everything is, is, is actually deploying the feeder now as well. So everything's in the space and everything's running, you know, from us just uh, really using a command line to deploy everything. Um, if we come over here, we can actually see, you know, the, the mirror, the processor, and the feeder. And if we look at the space down here, we can actually see the, ob the objects, you know, being used. Um, here, this is basically the Hello World application. There's nothing really special to it. So uh, the last thing we want to do, of course, is undeploy it, uh, just because, you know, what goes up should come down. So Maven OS undeploy will actually undeploy all of the elements in the project that we just, um, that we just deployed. And it's really quite simple, and um, really that's all there is to using Maven. I mean, everything is fairly straightforward. The main difference is you have an OS create, um, an OS run and OS deploy and OS undeploy that you really want to keep keep track of with deploy and create being the most useful. Um, thank you very much and um, hope to see you using Zap.